Hello guys and welcome back to our Battletech Let's Play campaign playthrough that sort of thing. Anyway, last episode we did a very quick mission. It took us like two, three minutes. This episode we're gonna try and do three missions. Well, we'll do one, and then when we come back there might be more, so we'll see. I think we go with this one. This is an escort mission. We have to escort a group of probably tanks or something across the path, destroying everything that tries to kill them, and then we have to defend them for a little bit. Perhaps. Yeah, so it's, we got to defend them whilst they uh, evacuate. We get a lot of money. In fact, that would be nearly enough to pay for our monthly expenses, which are happening soon. And we get a decent amount of salvage. Three units of salvage would be enough for... If we don't call a mech, it would be enough to claim all three parts of that mech, essentially. To do that, I think you have to knock out two of the legs and... Like a torso, or just kill the head, or something like that. Can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah. We'll do this. Oh. Oh, uh, I see what it means. I think we go with that. That'd be alright. We don't have really much pressure then on. Uh, Or do we want more salvage? It depends on how many enemies. I don't think there's going to be that many. So I think we, we choose the more money. Maybe we can go one more. Eight in total. We lose three, but we get a bit more money. I think we go with this one. That'll be alright. Ah. Okay, yeah, so it does remember. The only reason uh, it didn't remember the last time is because we didn't actually assign it last time. That was all. We, we jumped straight in because of the uh, tutorial mission, didn't we? I think that's fine. We'll leave it as it is. It worked out pretty well. In fact, we didn't take a unit of damage. We didn't even take a scratch, which is fantastic. Or maybe we did. Maybe we took a minor dane. I can't remember. Yeah, and we are fighting the pirates this time. I did check that. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I don't think. Uh, it might. It will matter in the future when... Uh, we get to fight in bigger bosses or bigger baddie faction y people. But for now, it's just your bog standard generic people. To do, do. Picking up pirate units, yeah, 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 yeah. They're over there. So, secure the convoy. We have to go here and destroy the units. Okay. So, it's not a simple starting mission. Now. What's up, boss? Okay. What if we go? No, can't go. You. Okay. We'll we'll send you over this way. Heading out. There we go. Moved all four. Haven't detected them yet. Yeah, there we go. Just the one? I only see the one. Probably one more. Oh no, it's just the one. Okay. Yeah, walk into our line of sight. That'd be fantastic. There you go. Oh, it's just a locust. We do not care. Yep. Um. Tell you what. Do that. Go here and headbutt it. Roger. That will get rid of some of its evasion. Maybe do a bit of damage even if we miss. Did we miss? I think we missed. I have no idea. The the weapon, the machine guns clearly hit. Ah, uh, maybe we didn't miss. Cool. Orders. This should be pretty easy. And you know what? We can use, because it's polar, it's actually enhancing our power of our uh, heat sinks, I believe. Yes, so we can use it 20% more, which is fantastic. So we don't care about heat as much, it's just ammo. Uh, so we're just going to use that, which we miss. That's fine, we get rid of another evasion point. Makes it easier for the next person to hit. Uh, Waiting on you, Commander. 
that yeah we, we can't really get any line of sight so we'll just move us over maybe move us here perhaps like sprint us yeah that'd be alright we won't be able to attack but that's fine yep Good glitch go. go here aim that way it's gonna be indirect fire but it should be alright you uh, 50 percent chance I think that's on each one all right it's pretty alright good they'll probably get a shot off on one of our mechs or they're just gonna headbutt it and miss that's fine you can headbutt the tank and do like very minor damage yeah that's perfectly fine go for it Medusa you know what might maybe go like this move closer to here maybe not complete this uh, objective but then we can at least move back because I don't I think they're gonna come round here that's fine uh, I'm just gonna brace Ooh. waiting for order um, yeah stomp on them ah. Right arm and torso. I, li I think they have to get like three injuries. Some heavy damage. What can I do for you? How about you go give it a bit of a stomp, stompy you stomp. Forward and the right leg. Yep. Perfect. Oh, and you finished it off with the laser as well. Just in case. Stay down. Cool. Uh. Yeah, go here. Go here. Go here. On my way. Go there. Yep, just destroy that building. That's fine. Do not see any problem. So, I'm going to go this way, actually. So, we'll keep these guys down here, perhaps. Something like this. There. And you can just walk up. We we could have just used the jets, but it's fine as well. Oop. And with that. Uh the head to the extraction point now, keep them alive. Uh stay near me. Yep, 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 yep. Where are we going? Over here? Oh, that's not that far. What we might do. Perhaps we push the tank up here, Got it. and the DPS, the sniper, would be good to go Warden there. Proceeds. We're going to send you off to scout. On my way. Boom. Just destroy that building, that's fine. I'm sure that they won't find us. They'd be fine with that, right? Because we don't know where the enemy is, so we need to go out and scout. Yeah, we just got to wait for them to finish their turn now. This is why I was thinking it might take a little bit longer than the other one, because there's usually quite a few of these things, and they also sort of have to move all of them. And we actually see them moving, so... That's fine, though. So, with the behemoth, we'll move you over here. Roger that. Rough terrain? Oh, yeah, no, that's bad. You will go here. Vindicator, you're kind of stuck, so we will... Brace you. Got it. We'll just send you up and around. Here. Yeah, I'll be alright. Just see what's up there. We'll hold him there until you know the. Uh, if there's nothing there, we'll, we'll hold him. We won't move him any further until the allies get a bit closer. So when they get to about here, maybe we'll send him off. Maybe through the forest, perhaps. 
Maybe there's just not going to be any here yet. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. But you would have thought they'd try and ambush on the road. That's usually how these things go, right? Yeah, that's one. But my money would be on that they're in that big forest over here somewhere. So, you. Do we keep you here? Maybe we move you up here a little bit. Same with you, perhaps. Get you two um, move points. As for you, move you there. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Oh yeah, so there is, it doesn't look like there's anything in there. But yeah, we'll like move you here. Uh, just in case, um, we'll just station you there and just keep waiting now for. Because uh, you're in cover there, I'm happy with that. We'll just m wait for these guys to get a bit closer or something. Probably just playing it way too safe for a mission like this, but. You know, it's, it's good practice, I think. Because we'll be doing these sorts of missions in the future and they're probably going to get a lot harder, so. You know, we probably will be attacked on the route. So it's good to you know get into the habit of being, I guess, tactical and smartical. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Well, I'll move faster. We're gonna race you. Copy that. Move you into cover. The vindicator. We'll scooch up, Moving out. race you, and that'll be alright. How many more turns do you reckon it'll take? Like, probably about 10 or so? 5 to 10, I'd say, to get to here? Yeah, not too long. And yeah, this is a, like, half a skull. And if all units have to survive, I'm fairly confident it's not like we're going to face maybe one or two um, potential threats. So, move you up to here actually. You there. Don't need to tell me twice. Move you here. Yep, there's nothing in there. I would have thought it'd be like huge. Oh, maybe they're like hiding over here. Because I think our sensor range only comes to about here. I don't know. Maybe they're hiding up over here. I don't know. They're bound to come from somewhere. Unless this is like an uber easy mission, right? And there's only one. In which case, we should just crank that money up to full. It would be nice. In Civ 6. I love playing Civ 6. And in there like there is you know i would say there's a tactical element but you have the units and the little animations it'd be nice if you just do what they do and just skip it that's fine we'll move you up to here i copy to here to here Still nothing, that's fine. There we go. What's probably going to be the case is there's not going to be, I don't think it's going to be anything on the road, but when they get there and they start evacuating, uh, then we're going to be attacked. I don't think it's going to be a lot though, maybe two mechs, probably really easy, like locusts again perhaps. Really hope for a panther though, they look pretty nice. It would be quite nice to get a panther, maybe you replace a spider that only had a very, f uh, very few weapons. Don't know. Uh, behemoth. Uh, I think they're going to kind of come from that way. On my way.
Let's go there. That'd be alright. Vindicator. Let's go this way because we want you to kind of stick with them so that they keep moving. What's that? Oh yeah, don't land here. We could get enter this zone. Just see if it triggers anything. This is like meta, I suppose now, but doesn't look like it's going to trigger anything. Okay, it's probably waiting for the uh, actual escort vehicles to arrive. Oh, these two are really slow. What are they? APCs. So yeah, they probably don't actually have any weapons. Sometimes you escort in things and they actually have weapons, or unless that's an escort, escort as well. I don't know. So yeah, we'll have to protect these two. So we'll we'll probably leave the Vindicator maybe around this area for a little bit until they get pretty close, because they're gonna enter it next turn. At least this one, I don't think will enter the zone. And I'm, I'd be willing to bet as soon as one of these enter it, that's when it triggers the enemies to come in. But we'll see. My turn. Uh, we're gonna move you to like here. Position confirmed. Blackjack to here. Where is it? It's there. Okay. You lay over there. I don't know. We'll, we'll just turn you that way. We might send you up here. I don't know. I don't really know where to send you. Oh, there we are. Yeah, that's right. Send in reinforcements. Yep. Good work, Commander. Hold this position until the package is underway. Oh no, so they are getting a a free turn. That's 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 alright then. That's good. Like I said these two probably aren't going to make it in the zone. Uh, but I assume it's going to land now, and they'll just board one by one. Oh, that one did. This one probably isn't though. I'd be quite surprised. Doesn't be surprised, but still surprised nonetheless. We'll move you up maybe a little bit as well. Ah, my turn. Alright. Uh, Medusa. Come up here. Have a look. Oh, there we go. Uh, you, here, you go there. Moving out. Oh, so we do, okay. I thought it was, uh, as soon as you detected them, them that's when the combat engaged. Maybe not. Maybe we do get a free move, like, get to finish our movement turn. Yeah, let's say it is. Okay, that's pretty cool. Where are they going? Up and around here. Alright. Well. Go there. And. We'll out. spot you and pew pew you. Because you're only a locust. LCT 1V. I don't know the difference. Long range. Okay. Well, I guess medium range. But yeah, they got two long range missiles. We have two machine guns instead. That ain't fantastic. Engage target. That's alright. It'll be easy enough to take down. Yes, Commander. Teamers. We currently probably want to move that. We'll go up here, take a few pot shots at it. See if we can take it out now. Probably will. Ouch, we have destroyed its right leg, knocked it down, that's a, a un, uh, injury to the pilot, out of three. Yep. Um, we'll move you up as well. There we go. They're all in. Oh no, it's still waiting for one more? Let's just that one. Waiting for orders. Ooh, ooh. 
quite a long range. Oh wow, you can still you, you got a direct line of sight through the valley. Oh, that should be interesting. All right. Um. Uh, what? Should I go for the torso? I suppose I just wanted you to shoot. Yeah, go for it. Miss. One of them hit. Okay, that was not a good shot. Is he gonna make it in? Yep. Yeah, cool. They were gonna board now. Cool. Hashtag easy. Now we just have. To, well, we we can go to the evac point or the quicker solution. Good to go. Now this is uh, this is great because they're down. We basically get a free attack on them, and it does a lot more damage, I believe. Targeting for a physical attack. Boom. Oh, that wasn't a lot of damage at all. Ooh, head hit, pilot injured. Nice. So you're getting back up. Yeah, we just need one more uh, unit of damage then, somewhere. So if we aim for like the torso, uh, yeah, the torso. Or the right torso, sorry, that might be alright. <laughs> Good job, you missed. All right. Ready for orders. Uh. And we. Not really. What's it looking like? Could do a call shot for the leg. Can we do that. It's that. Eighteen twenty-nine. Let's do it for that torso. Do that. Yeah, why not? Yep, there goes the core. Ah, uh, whatever. I don't care. It's only a locust anyway. It was a nice locust than the one we got. Yeah, because we cleared everything out. It was easy, we did, uh, safe to come down. We didn't need to go to the evac zone at all. Cool, we got a bonus. Got another bonus. 209,000, nice. Uh, they don't like us, don't care. The only pirates. Uh, didn't take any damage, again, because we're just that awesome. Nice, decent amount of experience. We get to choose one. Um, we already have one of them. It's worth a penny, though, isn't it? They're worth the same. I think this one's worth like a little bit more. We'll go with that. Maybe sell it. So I don't like the locust. It's just it is good for scouting, but I don't even really want to use it if you could have five max, and I don't think you can. Uh, we're gonna get four, so we're gonna get everything anyway. All right. Continue. I think that went alright. The uh, I see you, you can't see me thing, but they can see you. Contact, ooh, story, uh, ooh, story. All right, everybody, gather around. After our last talk, I bit the bullet and started fishing around for uncertified contracts. And I might, I repeat, might have caught us something. Who's the client? Unknown. She didn't ID herself in the message. She claims to be a member of the Canopian elite. Who's the Canopian? Oh, that's the Magistry of Canopus. The guys we just helped, I think. Yeah. She says that she's got a big job lined up, and she wants us for it. Us specifically. She called the commander out by name. I wish she even knew about us in the first place. It isn't like we're drowning in publicity here, out here. Look, our luck's finally changed. She's got good taste in mercenaries, whoever she is. We kind of need to figure out uh, our RP style for our guy, right? Is he pragmatic, optimistic, or arrogant? I kind of want to go pragmatic for now. 
especially because you know this is a really dodgy thing like you know uncertified contracts so we'll go with pragmatic good question and i'm betting we don't have an answer you're certain this client isn't really a bounty hunter because i can list off about five different banks that love to repossess this ship we're shopping for uncertified contracts behind the review board's back, Yang. Hell no, I'm not certain. But for it's worth, I can confirm that she's rich. She reached out to us with a priority HPG message, and those things ain't cheap. Hyperpulse generator. Device capable of sending terabytes of compressed information from one point to another at fast and light speeds. All modern HPG arrays are owned and operated by Comstar. Which is good. I like Rich. We'll meet with this new mystery client. That's all we'll do until we've heard her pitch. I like step in the right direction. I think we'll do this one. Again, pragmatic. Careful. Cautious. That's fair, Commander. We need to follow up on this, but that doesn't mean we can't be cautious. A meeting is just a meeting. What's the worst that could happen? Oh, don't say that. Why would you say that? Why would you ever say that? Well, our new client vents us out the airlock, and our corpses spend the rest of for, uh, forever tumbling around the icy vastness of space. See what he said. Thanks for that delightful image, Yang. Look, Josh, I'll admit this is a sketch. This is sketchy as hell, but it's also the best lead we're likely to find. If you want to follow up, plot a course to Bella. Uh -huh, Bella Fron. The client will be waiting. Convenient. Ready for review. Contract to meet. Our Canopian mystery client is ready for review in the command center. Take a look when you're ready, Commander. Fair amount of comp. Yeah, we've already done that. Okay, finances, family terminal. If you ever want to change our mercy. Yeah, 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 I already did that. I forgot to mention that. Very dark. So. Let's just have a peek. This is the, okay, this is the story mission. It's only one one skull, that's not too bad, right? But we do get more stuff. We don't get oh. Yeah, we don't get a lot of money for it though, do we? Like we get nothing. Oh, that's just meeting, isn't it? Yeah. Not bad for a meeting. Uh finances. Two fifty. Oh, two, forty-two. Yeah. How bad? I think we're. Are we profitable yet? I don't know. We'll find out. See, people should hire me. I'm an excellent manager at this sort of thing, right? I'm not going to bankrupt. I probably will bankrupt us, to be fair. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here. We're going to actually do. I, I know we said we would uh, do the other mission, get a bit of scrap and uh, salvage, rep and money. I think we're going to do this one. It sounds interesting. And it's a story mission, so it's probably going to unlock more stuff. I think it's still sort of in the... It kind of still feels we're in this tutorial stage a little bit. Uh, like I said, I've also played this before uh, briefly. Um, so I kind of have a vague recollection of where this is heading. And as fun as these little missions are, I want to get to the part where it's after this little bit. So I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, I do hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, please do let me know down below in the comments. Uh, and if you have any name suggestions for the cat, if you want to be in, you know, if you want to be one of the pilots, let me know in the comments. That'd be fantastic. More than happy to add you guys to the uh, the well, not stream. What am I thinking? To the videos. But if you haven't already, please do like the video if you have enjoyed it. That is. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't already and would like to consider doing so just to show your support for the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But for me, uh, that's it. Until the next episode anyway. So I'll see you guys then.